it has really started coming down and sticking fast. Yeah, I don't know about you, what the f is that? If you did this on a job site, they would burn you. And good morning, it's 2 a.m. and we've got about a half inch of snow in Fenimore. So I'm gonna get out there and start doing some salting. Uh, stay on top of the quick trips at least. Uh, I told everybody else to come in a little bit later. I can't sleep when it's snowing, so might as well be up and at her. So these guys got these trucks ready yesterday while we were in Cassville. We basically just put one salter in and like six plows. I'm hoping we can get by with just one salter today. It looks like right now the snow's really just sticking in Fenimore area. As long as I don't have to take care of every town should be all right. All right, we got her loaded up here. I just checked my cameras again and really the only place the snow is really sticking right now is in Fenimore which is good for logistics I don't really need to get anybody else out of bed and get them here but uh, not good for money I mean it's probably gonna stick in every town here really quick but as for right now I'll just have to take care of Fenimore all right I made it up to the office here and it's not sticking quite as bad as I thought it was. I've got a little bit of time to kill before I need to actually throw some salt down. So I'm gonna stop in here. When the snow business, as if mother nature isn't confusing enough, then you have the meteorologists that make it more confusing. Like I understand on this kind of storm, it's really hard to tell because the temperatures are just fluctuating. They're still saying four to eight inches of snow and there is no way that that is gonna happen. It's currently 3.30 a.m. It's about 30 degrees, and there's really nothing accumulated on the ground yet. They're saying 4 a.m., 80% chance, 7 a.m., 100% chance, 9 a.m., 100% chance. By noon, it's supposed to be 38 degrees. Whatever we do is gonna melt off pretty quick makes it super hard for me to know when to tell my guys to come in. So we have all the trucks ready, all the salters ready, whatever. I'm trying to read these meteorologists and the weather, it, it's just, it's a nightmare. All right, I better go check these lots, see what everything's looking like. Let's go. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but uh, they're calling four to eight inches still. It's gonna have to pick up pretty dramatically here. It's getting a little slick in a couple spots, but nothing, nothing happening yet. I probably could have stayed in bed and chilled for a little while, but as soon as the snow starts sticking to the ground or it starts getting slick at all, I cannot sleep. I just drive around in circles like a crazy person until we gotta do something. <laughs> you mother nature. All right, I literally took that video five minutes ago of it not sticking and saying, uh, you mother nature within the last five minutes it has really started coming down and sticking fast so i am salting basically everything right now just to stay ahead of this because if it does come down eight inches in the next four hours we're gonna be in trouble doing a little basically pre-salt we'll definitely be able to stay ahead of it with salt down let's keep at her Well, we got her all scraped off. No camera person this morning. It's hard for me to get footage. From 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., the roads were pretty sketchy. Now it's all melting off. Mostly everybody's back to the shop now. They got all the sidewalks cleared off. All these pretty dirty for seven o'clock in the morning. It's stained. Quit squeegee on the floor. We got more trucks to rinse off. Yeah, I'll just pull 207 up here and we'll rinse this truck off. What's the matter with this one? It was a little warm, but the gauge just said she's running fine. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Might have just been on your way back. 
with the blade up, I don't know. Oh, we got the window tent guy coming today to get Tech's truck tinted. This is Tech's new ride. And then the tent guy forgot to do the skylight window on the skid loader, so he's gonna do that today. Now we probably get out and start rolling some lawns today. Be nice weather for that. Man, I gotta quit calling Eric the Marlboro Man. He be smoking them Montego Reds. <laughs> I don't know much about cigarettes, but I'm assuming those are the uh, knockoff version of Marb Reds. Tech's gonna pull this skid loader in. We need to flush the coolant. Machine was low on coolant, and the coolant looked like mustard, so I don't know what that means. I've never actually seen that. But she's definitely gonna get a coolant flush, that's for sure. That'll work there, and I'll put the boom all the way up in the air. That way we're not fighting that. And the, the boom locks right behind you. Yep, slide that over. All right, shut her off. Safety first here at Pagel Services. Now we just gotta wait for it to cool down a little bit, maybe. Now, probably open that up slow. I don't know, it looks nasty. I think it's still pressurized. No, well, maybe not. Should be good. Yeah, I don't know about you. What the f is that? What does that mean? It looks like mustard. It tastes like it? No, I'm not gonna taste it. I don't know if something froze in there. Coolant froze and then now it's, I, I don't know. But we need to pull these side panels off and then find the drain for the radiator, get the drain pulled out and then we're, we're gonna need to flush the whole system. That, that's disgusting. I don't think it's engine oil. I don't know what the f is. Anybody in the comments know what the hell that yellow sludge is? I've honestly never seen that before. The next day. Jess is late for work this morning. It's almost 9 a.m. Looks like she's in there getting some breakfast pizza. So we'll spy on her, see what's going on. Today we got our new sales manager. He started this morning, so pretty excited about that. He's gonna get caught up on estimates. I got a couple guys working in the shop, and then we're gonna take Hunter and go start excavation at the new retaining wall job. So, unless you're Jess, of course, and you're just hanging out at Casey's. What the f is she doing in there? Oh, she looks mad. Good morning, pumpkin. Good How morning. are you? Fabulous. Super excited to be here. Sales guy starts this morning. I'm like, yep, the office lady usually gets up here at eight. Why would you say that? I don't know. <laughs> what were you thinking? Pizza looks yummy. Hopefully it is. I waited 20 minutes for it. Did you? Oh, that's where you've been. Okay. She's been yeah, waiting. Breakfast, no, breakfast. She had to wait 20 minutes to order a pizza. All right, let's go out to the shop and see how those guys are doing. I get stripped fucking Allen keys out so I can get that. Best try to get that out. So then I'm just gonna unplug it from here. And I didn't know these were stripped. So are we gonna put a new ignition in it or whatever? No, I'm gonna get that key out. I just need to get that so it's upside down. Okay. So then I can get the pick in there and try and tap it and it'll come right out. And screw this. Yeah. And I tried to grab it and put them in. Okay. So then I was just gonna take that panel off to grab it. Stripped out with that. So we're probably gonna have to easy out and use those easy outs, I would assume. Pretty good. Was there bolts on the back or what? I have, I have no clue. I've never taken, I've never taken them off. Got it. Got it. Got one. Did, that, did you see what that Yeah, it's a Monday. Just put two screws back in that and we'll order two new ones. So I'll get this back together 100% and then 211 black trailer, track machine, forks, bucket, and I'll go to that next job with him. Reaction from our adventure we just had. So they, he broke the key off in the ignition last week on that mini loader. So then we were using the broken key that was left over to start it. So this morning he wants to tear it all apart and try to fix it and I mean a new ignition is probably $30, you know, 
to me that's I would just get a new ignition and be done with it but he'll spend two and a half hours trying to get the key out so and now we got stripped bolts just turned into a nightmare so I'm gonna leave before I get angry well let's go see where Eric is looks like he's just sitting in the truck probably getting ready to go to the next lawn he's out rolling lawns today so we got some rain a little warmer the ground's not froze so always hiring great people that's what it says on the back we're always hiring great people so usually every spring we roll about 100 120 lawns it's like he's getting to the next lawn here we'll go chat with him for a minute if i was doing this and just running around found more i would probably just It'd be all right if I don't strap it. Well, I just throw one on. Throw one. It. Yeah. Just make sure you're going slow. Taking your time. Everybody's watching you. Okay, sounds good. Hammer down. Thanks. What do you want me to do when when it starts raining? Just keep rolling. Go get a rain jacket. Keep going. If you want me to? I will. No. If, it, if it's sprinkling or whatever, keep going. But if it starts raining, then we'll quit. So. Okay. But if it rains this afternoon, then tomorrow will be awesome for rolling. So, okay, thanks. Yep. What you got going on? Music, what do you think? Ugh. What do you guys think? Yeah, tell us. Put down in the comments. Do we? What song we should use for this video? I hate this music. I want to buy good music and be done with it. Derek will spend hours looking through this garbage music trying to pick something. Dude, that drives me nuts. It takes me five Junk. seconds and then I have to change it a hundred times because you make me. Junk music. I'm trying to get you guys good videos with good music that flows. So I call Richie's and you can't get this unless you order the whole thing. I got him asking around to see if he can. Okay. I don't know if we want to reuse it if, if we can't get one. What does this do? It holds a filter. Oh, put one in. All right. Well. I, I guess get, I think I could get it to work, but yeah, I'll just wait to see if okay you could find me one. Okay, you're back soon. All right. Yeah, what do we got going on here? Uh, I'm gonna get the wrap. on a job site they would burn you the front side of the home front so yard. lower curved wall is 26 in length and six foot height the upper wall is 24 foot length four foot height so we need to measure six and 24 so we need to measure that 24 foot out first because this one I want to go into that one
they're supposed to retract by themselves. You have to do it. But it's it, yeah. But yeah, normally you just push yeah, the button. Yeah, it, it just goes. So. No, this is manual. <laughs> manual. Manual. Oh. Well, as far as we got it. This level? Yes. All that? Not all of it. So your first wall, you know, yep, you're out to about there. And then second wall, same thing. Okay. Probably gonna end up taking some of this out too because it's, it's gonna be so deep. And I wanna leave it open where you can put clean stone behind stuff. So basically all this I would chuck up there or Probably up there is the only place, really. And then once we're done, Brad can put it wherever he wants it, so. I mean, I, I would just eyeball your base, unless you want to get the transit out, but you should be able to eyeball most of it. Just don't over dig it like crazy. Yep. You know, and I would just use that bucket, you know, and dig it out as wide as that gray panel. Yep. Okay. So, easy. All right, so as you guys can tell, we've been prepping for some retaining walls. And we actually have four walls going up this week. Those are gonna be block modular retaining walls, so they should be a little easier than the limestone. We got our new sales guy, he's doing really good. He's out there doing estimates every day. Yeah, this is gonna wrap up episode 45. We appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, it's hard to believe only four months ago, we were at 500 subscribers and we were excited about that. I guess it was a stepping stone. Our next goal is obviously 50,000 subscribers and we couldn't do it without all you guys. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.